Abbreviation SUSAR, Suspected Unexpected Serious Adverse Reaction, is widely used in clinical trials and safety reports of the investigational product. However, not all adverse events and even serious adverse events that occur during the trial will be classified as a SUSAR. So let's try to figure it out. Origin of this term will be our key to understand it. And we will start from the most simple and understandable term – adverse event. As we already know, according to GCP, adverse event is any untold medical occurrence after administration of the pharmaceutical product, and which does not necessarily have a causal relationship with this treatment. As the next step, let's remind ourselves what serious adverse event is. By GCP, it is the same adverse event, but with at least one of the following – death, hospitalization, initial or prolonged, life-threatening, disability or permanent damage, congenital anomaly or birth defect, intervention to prevent permanent impairment or damage, or other serious by investigator's opinion. The next term is adverse reaction. Adverse reaction is an adverse event which, according to the same GCP, has at least a possible relationship with the drug under study. This relationship cannot be excluded. If everything is clear, we can start to build our constructor and explain the term SAR. SAR is an adverse reaction that has at least one of the signs of severity read as serious adverse reaction. We also can say that it is a serious adverse event where relationship with the investigational product cannot be excluded. Next, let's deal with expected or unexpected. The fact is that some adverse reaction or even serious adverse reactions can be expected. The information about them is already known, the possibility of their occurrence is described in the investigator brochure and they are not something unexpected. If we observe serious adverse reaction, the appearance of which is not expected based on all currently available information about the investigational product, we would say that there was an unexpected serious adverse reaction USAR. As you can see, we are in the distance of one step from USAR to SUSAR, but frankly it is most surprising one. The fact is that during the study, new adverse events, serious adverse events, adverse reactions and serious adverse reactions are being registered on the ongoing basis. Before the statistical processing of all this data, it is impossible to assess clearly dependence of the newly occurred serious adverse event from the administration of the investigational product. After all this information is processed, Data from a large number of patients from different sites and countries merged and analyzed, we will be able to judge exactly whether this serious adverse event is systemic, how it is related to the patient's participation in the clinical trial, and accordingly, whether it is unexpected serious adverse reaction. Information about it will be published in the new version of the investigator brochure but we are obliged to provide safety information to the regulatory authorities and local ethic committees in a timely manner, and we cannot wait until the release of the next investigator brochure. And that is the moment when the term SUSAR comes to the scene. The fact is that the first letter S stands for the word suspected. That means that we suspect that we have a deal with an unexpected serious adverse reaction. We are not sure, but we suspect. Hence, we must notify the regulator and local ethic committee. In the last 20 seconds, I would like to discuss the abbreviation SEOMS. It also confuses people who are beginners in the world of clinical studies. Council for International Organizations of Medical Sciences developed the form of emergency alert. This is one page form of the reporting primary information about the occurrence of unexpected serious adverse event. So, SEOMS is just a name of a form that is used to report primary information about SUSAR. That is all about SUSAR. I hope it helped.